YouTube, it's your boy Jarrell coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk and today I want to discuss for a few moments a fight that's been in the works for a while, finally being finalized and agreed upon and that's between Juan Manuel Marquez and Mikey Alvarado. Uh, the fight will take place live May 17th on HBO at the Forum in Los Angeles, California. It is a welterweight title eliminator. Um, the maximum weight is 143 pounds. The winner of the fight will face the winner of the Manny Pacquiao 10 Bradley rematch um, that's taking place uh, next month <clears throat> in Las Vegas. Um, going into this fight, you look at it. Uh, Mar Marquez is the better fighter. Um, he's the bigger, stronger fighter, better skills, and he should be the favorite, and he should win, in my opinion, whether by unanimous decision or late KO. Um, I will not count out Mike Alvarado. He's a tough fighter. Um, he's been in some wars with Rios and Provotnikov. Um, but I think that he's biting off more than he can chew, especially coming off a tough defeat at the hands of Ruslan Provotnikov this past Octo October where he lost his um, junior welterweight title. Marquez is coming off a um, split decision loss to Tim Bradley also this past October, and, you know, he's looking to rebound and um, get back in the win column and set himself up for a rematch with either Pacquiao for the fifth time or with Tim Bradley for the second time. Um, what frustrates me the most is how can both guys coming off of uh, losses be fighting, you know, for, you know, in a title eliminator, especially Alvarado. He's coming up in weight. I don't believe he's ever fought at uh, welterweight. And for him to automatically be put in a position to fight for a title over so many other deserving guys is, is ridiculous. You know, Bob Arum strikes again. He, he finds a way to, you know, keep, you know, his fighters um, close to championship fights without them having to earn it. I don't really have too much of a gripe if Marquez gets it um, because he's been fighting at welterweight um, for a while now. He he defeated Manny Pacquiao by a six-round KO, and he had a close but clear, you know, split decision loss to um, Bradley. So I can understand why he would get, you know, would get the, you know, a shot in a title eliminator, but... I believe that, you know, he could have, you know, at least fought another fight or maybe fought Probotnikov, um at 140 um, for his title. But I understand he's chasing history to become the first Mexican to win uh, five titles in five different weight um, classes. I understand that, but we finally get a fresh fight from Bob Arum in top rank with the Marquez-Alvarado fight. Even though it might be seem to be, you know, a one-sided fight, it's still a fresh fight. But... You know, if Marquez wins this fight, he will be, you know, it, he will set up another rerun fight, whether he's facing Pacquiao or Tim Bradley. And fight fans are getting really tired of these fights. We understand, you know, that him and Pacquiao have had some close fights um, uh, throughout the um, past um, when they fought. And we understand that he wants to re get revenge on Tim Bradley, but I don't see him beating Tim Bradley um, if they fight again. Now, if he fights Manny Pacquiao, of course I can see him beating him again because he always um, has get, uh, given Manny Pacquiao problems, you know. But that ship is still, I don't really um, want to see that fight again, nor the Tim Bradley fight. But if he wins, which he likely will, you know, get the W over Alvarado, we'll be forced to, you know, watch another um, rerun fight with um, Marquez taking on Bradley or Pacquiao. I'm disappointed in that, but it is what it is, and that's that's how um, Bob Aaron likes it. He likes to, you know, keep rehashing um, old fights and hoping to spark some, you know, old history. But those are just my thoughts on Alvarado uh, Marquez being made, and and why it's ridiculous that, um, that they're fighting in a title eliminator, coming off losses in Alvarado. You know, fighting for the first time at welterweight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section. Tell us your thoughts. Give us some feedback. Um, share the videos. Go like us on Facebook at Colossal Boxing Talk. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.